Welcome back to Let's Play Factorio, and we are at the new metal line, which is constantly working now. Feels pretty good. Oh, hey, and our train's in. Now that we've got the metal line actually going, we can head back to the station and work on a bit of processing, perhaps. And other matters. There's always stuff to do in a factory this size. In fact, it kind of gets to the point where you're not sure what to do exactly. We now have supplies of copper and iron pretty much lined up for the foreseeable future, given the way I kind of set things up. But the question is, should we have a new setup, perhaps? Also, it'd be better if both, both sides of the belt were being used. So let's... No... What if... Just hypothetically speaking, what if... That doesn't really do anything to it, does it? No, it doesn't. Um... Okay, I'm actually gonna do the slightly lazy decision in this situation, and... Clear the ore off the belt, and then... Uh, underground belts. Something nice and simple. I am quite enjoying this Let's Play, that's why I've made so many... I've recorded so many episodes kind of ahead of time. Ah, that goes. And now, just a simple splitter over here. And this should work pretty well. Whoa. I am trying a new thing in Fraps to see if this makes the video better. You know, this thing needs to do the same thing. I think I will have it do that up here. Right, uh, splitter, then regular track, and here. There. That means this side will be even more backed up, but it'll balance the load, hopefully. We do have some copper coming in, which is nice. That iron will never be unloaded now. Um, am I willing to go the extra mile and make these fast inserters? Hmm. This will probably be okay. We've got a flow of copper ore coming in. We just need some more processing, honestly. Which we can handle. As a matter of fact, we can make electric furnaces. Hmm. This will dramatically increase our power usage, and frankly, I haven't seen much of a need for them. Well, I mean, they're nice to have, but I think we'll stick with the steel furnaces for now. Even converting the four stone ones to steel. Might not have a huge impact, except, of course, to increase our pollution profile to even greater places. So for the first time in a while, I'll concentrate on, you know, the production stuff. We probably don't need to space out the furnaces quite so much anymore. Thanks to, uh... Why, thank you, robots. Probably don't need to space out the furnaces quite so much. Although I do have a way to make this system electric furnace only, which we will eventually do. For now, I mean, we might as well get some use out of these stone furnaces, because otherwise, once you've made a thing, it's kind of there forever. So you kind of got to deal with it. Okay, for right now... Give me some long arms. Yeah, I'm definitely sure the medium poles can, uh, accommodate all this shit. Make sure it all gets powered. Well, not in a really easy way, but... Alright, let's stop all the copper. 
lines moving just for the moment. Actually, this is not the place to put them. If we want to make things even and shit, then maybe we do, maybe we don't. Ah, uh, and it's going. And just hook it up like this. Tons of new processing for tons of new copper. Uh, let's do the splitter thing again, but back here. Yeah, like this. Now we're using both sides of a belt. And things are not blocked. Oh, oh no. Right... Here. Alright, we're going. We have dramatically increased our capability of processing copper, like, by a lot. These mines up here are exhausted. We could probably move some of this shit here. There's like 600 more copper over there. I don't care enough to be bothered to do it. Three point four thousand more copper. That's probably worth at least being bothered. And we could use some more efficiency modules, which we are building. So let's go over there and grab those. All right, but now the copper issue is being addressed. This is quite a lot. Our well, whole system is making sure blue science gets done. Still smart inserters. We could design a modular factory that will build smart inserters and deliver them via robot. I was kind of hoping not to do that, but my late game builds aren't turning out so great. So many advanced circuits. It's so nice. I need this, these things. I need more of this. There you go. Uh, while I'm here, some of the things that literally I can't use. Electric engines. Uh, I'll put the alien artifacts here and then intensely regret it later. That's kind of my plan. Uh, the iron axe. Stuff that I literally can never find a use for. While well, I was over there, I should have put this ore down too. But anyhow, just it is nice to have this many circuit, this many advanced circuits. It really is. I have a chest to store these in. Uh, let's make it a passive provider chest, shall we? Right here. Obviously limited, but we could use more logistics slots eventually. I want to have no less than a hundred piercing, uh, piercing round ammunition things. Pollution is starting to be generated down here. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Matter of fact, we could probably just go down there, put some of these in the miners, and sleep a little easier. Let's craft another one. Since I'm going to move in front of the train now, everybody. Whoop. And we get away with it this time. Down here, this is going to be pissing off the biters quite a lot. No, this isn't what I... Here. 6.3, 6.3. I'm just going off the pollution number. Now, that's a little better. We're back down to only using this much power, which is not bad at all. Kinda due to the way I've set things up. Okay, what's the next thing to worry about? Oh, yes. We haven't checked on oil in quite a whoa. We have too much fucking light oil. Fortunately, we can use chemical plants to crack it into petroleum gas. Where are we gonna find the space for that, you might ask? Good question. Over the long term, this particular oil storage system has turned out to not be terribly viable. In terms of expandability. Because this particular little network of pipes kind of has to exist. Uh, let's just do it over here. Because that's... we don't have much of a choice. Okay. 
This will turn light oil to petroleum gas. It needs water. Well, there is a water source right there. So we can handle this. Underground pipe. There you go, like that. As many underground pipes as I can manage to use, because otherwise this gets bad. This gets real bad. Bad. See, the thing is, we're using a bit of uh, heavy oil for lube, which is always important. But light oil... Also, we can make explosives and stuff. Perhaps another time. That may seem pointless. Matter of fact, that is literally pointless. Okay. Um, if only I could put things together in a slightly different way, I would. But we'll probably be okay. What the hell? Ah. Okay. Yeah, I think we can do it like this. That's a little pointless. Okay, the water will come out here. Or the water will go in there. Probably meet up at a point here. This is the water. This is the light oil. And then we just pump it down here. So much shit in my inventory. Uh, I did a little bit of cleaning up earlier. Not a lot. Alright, at least we have lots of piping. We could be using... Actually, for this particular thing, we can't be using robots. It's just not a thing that happens. Chemical plants kind of pollute the environment. Oh, come on, really? That thing has the maximum number of connections. It refuses to be associated with us. Well, it's going. It's converting one thing to another. Which will allow the refineries to fucking go now. Which is nice. There we go. It is itself creating a little bit of pollution and power needs. But we'll be okay for that, I think. Although our power power usage has literally doubled, which is interesting. Seven more, that's nice. I want, like, a lot. These are very nice. Uh, I'm willing to commit at least that much resources, like, we need, oh, uh, just lots of things, everyone. We can build a rocket launcher right now. I've never actually used that in my time in like three Factorio playthroughs, including getting to the end game. I've just never used it. Again, I'm running across train tracks, which is a splendid idea. Okay, uh, it's the lazy way to put them in. I want each to have two. I mean, ideally each would have three. But if each has two... Then we're really getting somewhere. In terms of our eco-friendliness, and I'm a very eco-friendly kind of guy. It helps a lot. Yes, I did just try to outrun the train. I'm hoping that honestly does cut down on the pollution, because we'll be killing some of these nearby bases anyhow. It's kind of a requirement. Okay. One more on the guy over here. I mean, the miners still take make a shitload more pollution than almost anything else. This forest... eh. See, it's annoying to get around, but it's helpful. I've completely lost track of time once again since the beginning of this recording. Wow. 
I could use some more walls. Just some more. And we can get started on those modular factories I mentioned, which could be in a variety of places. Actually, down here would be a good part. It wouldn't be in the way of anything. I could also get working on designing a place that makes more circuits and advanced circuits because we need them. Like, the resources will branch off the main path into like a separate little facility. You know, like you're supposed to do if you play this game properly. Wow, the, the power line needs to be not in that exact spot. Okay. So the resource lines continue like this. Now for circuitry, I want these two to branch off and head... I'm just going to say this way because there's more space potentially open. And we can get working on that right now. Clear us a path, please. You will note there actually is a deformation in the pollution cloud. No wonder those guys are attacking. We should probably go take care of them. But yeah, here we have the wave. Um, someone else mentioned Ferngully at one point, when they saw the deconstruction robots just... get the forest. Okay, but this is something that's kind of new for me. Which is trying the branching off thing. So we want one that branches here and here, because what's going to happen is... I guess a, a way. This isn't, might not be the simplest way. But okay. Now the plan here is that the steel... Okay, it fits. That was kind of the point. Um... Fuck, but the other lines, we, do, we don't want all of it to go. See, that's the issue. So actually, the way we need to do it... Is what we'd have to do... This shouldn't be difficult. Oh, well, there's a better Factoria player. Okay. We want half the line to split, and the other half to keep on going. So we need to split it like that there, and like that here. So then that would allow these lines to keep going like this, whereas half goes here. This one will be a bit tricky. Looks like we'll need to do another underground belt. Um, honestly, it could be right here. There's nothing that says it can't be. Now. I know it looks weird, but I'm hoping this does what I want. It doesn't look right, but I bet you when we start this up, it's gonna be... It's gonna be good. Just gonna grab these. Those were placeholders. Like, everything's supposed to be a placeholder in your factory, but really, those are... Now, this should work. If it doesn't work, I'll be sad, and we'll have wasted some resources. All oh, right, we have to do that. Okay, the steel's going out correctly. Now, yeah, it works. They're going on, but they're also branching off. Oh my god, it's a new design. It's a new day for me. Feels good, man. Now, we make circuit factories. Um. For now, we'll use level 1s. That'll be okay. And... These will provide... I'm certain there's a specific layout that's, like, best. The question is, do we put it along the belt? Or do we have, like, a machine mate cable coil and then feed directly into one other machine? The goal is just to have a little sort of... This could even be modular, like, we could repeat this multiple times if we like the design. For instance, those create cable coils. 
these are regular circuits. And then the final two will be advanced circuits, just for instance. And of course, the input lines. We'll also need plastic. Well, not quite yet, please. See, I'm going into new territory now, which is why I'm not acting 100% confident. Thank you. Little helper bots. 136 robots. What's the problem now? No electric engines. Can I have some of those? A couple. Why aren't you producing circuits? That's gotta be annoying. Um, tell you what, guys. Let's move this up one so that this thing has priority. That might work. But anyhow. Let's just say. Let's just say it's one to one. It's probably not one to one, but if I were to just make this a thing, uh, we need blue assemblers, which we are actually out of for the first time in a while. Aren't those being made somewhere? Or did I stop that? No, I didn't stop it. There's blue assemblers. <clears throat> Actually, the answer is both. I stopped it and there's more. We haven't actually done, you know, factory shit in a while. It's been other things. Trying to sort out the resources. Okay. Four more advanced circuit factories. We could even make stuff in multiple ways. I mean, there's no rule that says we can't. As long as we get her done. And then, okay, the output line of, like, advanced circuits will be going this way and it'll rejoin the line or something. Alternately, it could be stored in a box and then carried by robots. Uh, let's try that. So, like... Let's just say, for instance... They meet up here. And then they're put in a passive provider chest. Which is actually still in the network. Nice. The output belts will be here. Whoop. Thank you. Personal robot assistance. What all does this actually need? It doesn't actually need any primary resources. Actually, this doesn't need... The copper only needs to go to here, really. The metal does kind of need to go there. Okay, so metal and... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now we need to deal with outputs. Copper cabling will be outputs onto the far track. Wish this had a prison architect planning system, which it kind of does with the robots, but I just want one that is sheerly just like a ghost image. Okay, so. Cable coils will be put on the far side, which is not moving at the correct rate, or the correct way. Thank you. Did I make that all the wrong way again? Okay, but this will be going this way. Needs to go until here, essentially. 
No, there works. Okay. This will go on this side. You know what? Let's try something. This will up it to here. It's this product. The question is what to do about it. If... Hmm. I'm certain there's a way to do this. What if... Wait a second. Does this belt need to exist at all? What if we did it like this? See, this is a, this is uncharted territory. <laughs> when I stop pretending, I know what I'm doing. And then we just start designing. Let me check the time real quick. As I thought, this is a decent place to at least stop the video and probably cut the recording. So... I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Factorio, where I may or may not have be onto something with this design, but it's recorded far in advance, so even if I'm wrong, you guys can't do nothing to stop me. Ah, uh, you can just watch it unfold. So yeah, see you later, guys.